sound vibration. Salmon live in rivers on the west coast of North America. The mother salmon lays her eggs in a shallow place in a river. Young salmon that hatch are fed by a food sack inside the egg. A few weeks later, they can find food in the river. They live in the river for about a year. Salmon are created with the ability to live in both fresh and salt water. The purpose of this is hidden in the wonderful journey the fish will make. One spring day, thousands of salmon began to migrate along the river. After a journey that will last weeks, they finally arrive at their destination, the Pacific Ocean. As soon as they arrive at the ocean, a structural change occurs in the salmon's body, enabling the fish to live in salt water. In the following one to four years, they will traverse large distances in the ocean. From the coast of America, they will pass the shores of Alaska. They will swim in a great arc toward Japan and return again. At the end of their journey, the salmon are prepared for another extraordinary journey, the last and most difficult one of their lives. They will return to their homes, that is, the river bed where they were born. They will enter the same river they swam down years earlier to reach the ocean, but this time they will swim in the opposite direction, that is, upstream against the current. No obstacle will stop them. They leap out of the water to cross waterfalls and continue their journey. They can jump over obstacles as high as three meters. Sometimes they persist in making journeys as long as 3,200 kilometers. During this whole period, they eat nothing, using the energy they stored while they were in the ocean. And finally, without getting lost, they reach the riverbed where they were born years before and lay their eggs there. They have done their duty. The salmon migration is one of the most amazing journeys in nature. After spending years in the ocean, how do thousands of salmon find the river where they were born? To do this, they have to find the one of the thousands of rivers opening into the Pacific that is theirs. Then they have to swim along this river without getting lost and make the right decision at every fork of the many along the river's course. Salmon managed to accomplish this seemingly impossible task. Very well. How do they manage this and why?
Scientific research has shown that salmon have a specially created sensory system that allows them to complete their journey. In order to find their direction in the ocean, they have been created with natural compasses that can sense the Earth's magnetic field. Thanks to this, they can find their direction in the waters of the Pacific Ocean without getting lost. But the really important question is, how do the salmon find the riverbed where they were born? For this, a much different system than a natural compass is needed. Research on this question has shown that salmon find their birthplace by following its scent. We never imagine that rivers have their own scent, but in reality, every river in the world has its own chemical composition. The differences between these chemical compositions are generally so slight that they cannot be detected by any creature, except salmon. Let's think for a moment about the extraordinary story of the salmon. You will notice that every stage of the salmon's journey has been carefully calculated. First, the fact that there is a program that commands the salmon to return to the river where it was born years before is a great miracle. Besides this, the natural compass system that allows the salmon to find its way in the ocean and the fact that this fish has the world's most sensitive sense of smell are certainly things that have not come about by chance. All these things show that the salmon is a creature specially created for the migration set out for it. The one who has created the salmon with these extraordinary characteristics is the God, the creator of all living things and the Lord of all the worlds. In the Quran, God says that we will be able to see his creative art in all living things. And in your creation and all the creatures he has spread about, there are signs for people with certainty. <laughs> 